Great, and Ant versus Deck. Now, tonight, the boys will be competing to see who can hold their breath underwater for the longest time. The boys have been fully trained for this challenge, and behind them is a full safety team to monitor events and ensure that everything is absolutely safe. Please do not try this at home. Well, I will now hand you over to our official Ant versus Deck commentator, David Goldstrom. Thanks, Kirsty. Well, during the break, both boys have completed their essential physical and mental relaxation routines, taught to them by their respective professional freedive coaches, Mark Harris looking after Ant and Liv Phillip taking care of Deck. Well, it's time to go under now. First, though, a complete exhalation to get rid of all the carbon dioxide in their lungs. And now, from the bottom Nine. upwards, they're breathing Eight. in through their stomachs to fill Seven. their chest cavities with vital, Six. fresh air. Five, four, three, two, one. Floating gently down to the bottom bar, minimizing any exertion and tension. Dex, as he explained, his method is to empty his mind. The eyes closed. Ant, on the other hand, has got a different method. He trying to relive a happy family moment. The eyes closed as the seconds start to tick away. No pasties or pastries this week. Absolutely no food in the last two hours. Just water, no tea, nothing that would stimulate their half rates. And they've done really, really well in training. They've exceeded, after just two hours underwater in the past week, all expectations, although the records, the British record, an incredible 8 minutes 24 seconds. And Liv Phillips, she holds the women's record at an unbelievable 5.32. Now they're just beginning to feel the stress. This is where you move from calm to the struggle. And the muscles start to tense up. Just signs of that on Ant on the left there as we go through a minute. And Ant, the tension gives up, which means that the victory goes to Deck, who's still underwater. 1.12. And ticking away there, 120 and 124. So by 12 seconds, Deck wins the challenge. And they're taking in the free oxygen. So let's have a look at how this finished. You can just see the tension coming into the muscles. It's a good thing because it tells you how you're doing. But the first realization was Ants. And he realized that he had to come up. The pain was coming on very strongly into him. And Deck takes the challenge. 12 seconds longer underwater for Deck. And so both boys now taking in the oxygen to try and get rid of the carbon dioxide that's built up. Remember, they've been holding their breath. And uh, plenty of congratulations there for Coach Liv Phillip. Reminder, don't try this at home. Deck wins back to you Kirsty. thank you very much david well done boys i didn't want to say this before the challenge but quite scary wasn't it yeah, yeah it was it, quite scary yeah it is it's when, when you get in there though you you just kind of you've got to forget everything which is very difficult during a live show obviously but you've got to try and forget everything and just get into it to a funny little place of your own and you look very annoyed are you okay yeah and i'm just very annoyed yeah <laughs> I'm fine. Physically, I'm fine. You're physically fine. Oh, yeah. dear. Well, Deck, congratulations. Thank you. That is 4 1 to you. Will you be taking your foot off the gas a bit for next week for the Absolutely final challenge? Absolutely not. <laughs> Oh, you yeah. say that. Going for it next week. No, we want to finish off the show, the series in style next week. Last, last show of the series, I want to finish in style. I'll go for another point next week. Exactly. Very good. Okay, well, all that remains now is to reveal what you are doing for that final challenge. Oh, Have yeah. a look at this. Show must go! This week's challenge is a case of you will, you will rock us as you put on the leotards and moustaches to play Freddie Mercury in your very own Queen tribute bands. Who will be boasting we are the champions and who will be moaning another one bites the dust? We'll find out next week. I thought you'd enjoy this yes, one. I'm going to dress up and sing in. In the sketch before the show this week, when Anne had the moustache on, you looked very, a bit very, 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 very similar. She's already got an advantage next week. Well, we'll wait and see. Let's say a huge thank you to everybody involved in this week's Anne versus Deck. Our commentator, David Goldstrom. <laughs> thank you very much. And of course, fantastic Kirsty Gallagher. Thank you. Have you
Thanks for the cover. I have. Okay, it's time to get jiggy then.